is Phil McCordick here. This question comes from Valley and Vera, and they want to know, how does a microwave work? It's really quite simple, you see. You open the door, and you put your food in there, and then you push the number of seconds you want to heat your food for, and it heats, it heats your food. Okay, so that's, that's not what they meant. At the end of this video, you will know what microwaves are, how a microwave oven heats your food, why a microwave oven heats your food faster than a regular oven, and why it doesn't heat evenly, and how it all relates to water being magnets, which is something you know that you know I like to say. Not bad for a few minutes, right? Okay, come on, let's get started. So, how does a microwave oven heat your food? It uses microwaves, which, you know, does make a lot of sense given the name. What is a microwave? Well, it all has to do with the electromagnetic spectrum. From radio waves to visible light to x-rays, it's all kind of the same thing, but we give them different names because of how far apart the waves are. Now, microwaves, despite their name, are actually the second largest of the waves. We call them microwaves because they're smaller than radio waves but they're bigger than everything else, so go figure. Anyway, how does a microwave heat your food? Well, it all has to do with water being magnets. So, whoa, wait, oh, <clears throat> sorry, okay. Water is magnets. Now, water has positive and negative charges, and what happens when the microwaves go through, the water molecules react to that wave. So sometimes they'll go up, but when the wave goes down, it'll flip the molecule over, and then the wave goes back up, and it flips the molecule back like this. And it flips it, and it flips it, and it flips it. And that flipping makes the molecules have more energy, and if they have more energy, they have heat. Now, we also use heat to heat our food, like in the oven. Heat is actually a different part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's called infrared waves. The interesting thing is, infrared waves do not penetrate matter, but microwaves do. You know how radio waves, you can get a radio signal, and it doesn't matter if you're inside a building or outside, or if the radio tower is right across the city and it goes through all the buildings, because radio waves penetrate matter and microwaves do too. But as the waves get smaller, they don't penetrate matter anymore. So infrared and say light, you know that light doesn't penetrate matter. They can't get through something solid, but a microwave can. So when you heat something in an oven, what happens is the infrared waves work the same way, but they only make the molecules at the surface flip, right? Because it can't get inside the food. And eventually they'll heat up and then they'll start moving these guys. And eventually your food will, will heat up. When a microwave oven heats your food, all of the water molecules flip because the microwaves can pass all the way through. So they heat all the way through the food and all the, all the molecules start moving around and that's how it heats much, much faster than in an oven. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, wait a minute. If it heats so fast and it heats all the way through my food, why does it heat unevenly? Well, that has to do with the waves themselves. Okay, let's recap so far. Microwaves are like a magnetic field and they make the water molecules vibrate up and down depending on how, what part of the wave they're on, right? So, why does a microwave not heat evenly? Well, the reason, eh, I will explain. But the solution is this round spinny thing that you have in your microwave. You see, what you do is you move your food around inside this box because it's on the little spinny tray here. And the reason for that is the way that the waves interact with each other. Now there are peaks and valleys, high points and low points, and that's where the water molecules are really gonna vibrate a lot. But then there's also middle points where the water molecules aren't moving around very much at all, and that's where the heating isn't happening. And that's why you have this tray. The idea is to move your food around inside the box so it gets to all the different places so that it's guaranteed to hit some waves that are moving up and down. And here's a tip. If you wanna heat something that's small, put it on the outside of the tray so it moves around even more rather than the middle of the tray, which means it's not moving around very much at all. And there you go, how microwaves work. You're so much smarter than you were a few minutes ago. You now know what microwaves are, how they heat your food, why they heat your food faster than an oven, why they heat unevenly, and how it all relates to water being magnets, huh?
that's pretty cool, right? I'm gonna link a, little, a video below that I use some of the visuals for, which is pretty awesome. You should totally check it out. I'm also gonna link a quiz that'll ask you all the questions we just talked about and give you an experiment you can do at home with your own microwave, some cheese, and a responsible adult whose permission you're going to get before you try it, right? Right? Okay, good. And finally, I'm going to link my Patreon account because I really appreciate the support of all my Patreon members who allow me to do what I like to do, which is teach kids cool stuff about science. And until next time, stay curious. <laughs>